Good evening and welcome to Midnight Movie Club and my review of the latest Netflix original, The Perfection. The Perfection was directed by Richard Shepard and stars Alison Williams, Logan Browning and Stephen Weber. The genre-bending film follows a troubled musical prodigy, Charlotte, who seeks out her old mentor, Anton, after the death of her mother. In doing so, she meets Elizabeth, his new star student. Their encounter then leads them both down a dark and sinister path. So off the bat, let's touch on acting, and both Alison Williams and Logan Browning put in a brilliant performance. I really don't want to go into their characters too much at all, as I don't want to give away any type of spoilers or hints to what direction the film goes, but I'll just say this, Williams is deranged yet darkly comedic at the same time, while Browning goes hysterical into one mean ass bitch. Both of them showed great range in their performances within this film and I really liked their dynamic on screen. There were just two really good performances in a film where the characters' motivations and feelings change very frequently. As for Steven Webber, he was good as well for what he had to do, along with the supporting cast members too. Along with these great performances, the film looks beautiful as well, boasting some fantastic cinematography. We get some really cool Dutch tilts, drone shots and wide shots. Everything from the set and costume design down to the lighting aids this. With most of the sets, they are full of colour and character. The same goes for the costume design and each character's clothing, telling a little about them. Along with this, every scene is well lit here. They made a lot of use out of the backdrops, incorporating lighting into them which just further injects even more colour and more to look at. Really, I cannot praise enough how great some of the shots look in the perfection. The film also has a touch of film grain over the top of it to add yet another layer, keeping the screen alive at all times. It also just adds the feel of nostalgia to the film and gives it that organic look. I feel like without the film grain, the film would have looked too clean cut and visually perfect instead of grittier and more cinematic. The gorgeous visuals are a stark contrast to some of the perfections, very graphic and hard to watch brutal imagery. For the most part, the effects are a mix of practical and CGI are solid. There was only a couple of times with some maggots in there where I thought the CGI looked pretty damn bad, but apart from that, the rest of the blood and gore was on point. To be honest, there isn't too much blood and gore in here, but when there is, it's pretty full on and visceral. I have to say, everything about the mise-en-scene in this film was great and just gave the film a very elegant but unnerving tone. Now, I'd love to touch on the editing as well, as I thought its use of audio was really effective, especially in the cello playing scenes. On purpose, sometimes the visuals wouldn't match the type of music or audio that was paired with them, but it just worked, and I feel this added to the subliminal discomfort in those particular scenes, helping that anxiety grow. There was also a use of flashbacks throughout the movie, or rewinds if you may, and honestly, I liked how they were handled. At first it caught me off guard and I wasn't too sure how they were going to go and help the narrative but to my surprise they didn't ruin the pace of the story at all and they were vital in getting the whole picture. Not much of the perfection was left up to interpretation if any of it at all and it was down to these moments. I think if they used them any more than they did it would have been too much but what they did end up using was just fine. Although I think I would have preferred if we could have learned more without relying on them so heavily, but for what it is worth, it is nice to get the full picture through them. At times, character motivations could leave you scratching your head until you got the full story, and as I said, I would have liked to have known their reasons for some decisions at the time, rather than having to go back and find them out, but what that does give the perfection is a strong sense of unpredictability. You never really know what is coming around the corner in this one, you may think you have figured it out, and then be proven totally wrong the next minute. 
As far as it goes for score, it is mostly a mixture of creeping piano and some very horror-like strings, along with some eerie woodwind drones that really hit home the horror portion of the genre within the perfection. It really does complement the visuals and the action with the rising of tension in certain areas. Some of the music, especially the previous mentioned cello playing scenes, is fantastic and is where the editing and the film really shine. There's also some rap music used in here in the soundtrack that I was a fan of, not too sure on the track or the artist, but when it came in, I liked it, and it didn't feel too out of place. With the film being so classical with its music, it was nice for a change once in a while. That was one thing The Perfection managed to do, kept a pretty consistent tone throughout. It never took itself too serious, but it was never too silly, it was never too dark, but it was never too light. It hits a real nice fine middle ground. And I really loved the twists and the turns and just the way it went, and it was a nice satisfying conclusion. Really, the perfection done whatever it wanted, and it was very unique in every aspect of itself. There were maybe a couple of little things here or there I wasn't really a fan of, but for the most part, the perfection is a great horror thriller with some unnerving scenes, disturbing but beautiful visuals, great music and very nice editing, and as I said, a very satisfying ending. With all this said and done, I am going to give The Perfection a 4 out of 5 rating. So if you've seen The Perfection, let me know what you thought of it in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and if you haven't already, then subscribe to join the club. And as always, thank you very much for watching and good night.